Mississippi Economic Council says that right now the state's economy is in pretty good shape, but as always, there's room for improvement. WTVA's Wayne Herford joins us live and tell us why the head of the MEC came to the Toyota plant today. here in Tupelo, but earlier today I was out at the Toyota plant in Blue Springs where I met up with Scott Waller, the president of the Mississippi Economic Council. The Mississippi, East, the Mississippi Economic Council is on its uh, yearly tour. This year they want to emphasize smaller communities like Blue Springs where the Toyota plant is right now. Lady Applegate and her family came all the way from Moscow, Tennessee to take a tour of the Toyota plant in Blue Springs. The five-year-old was not allowed inside the plant, but her other kids got a good look at the place. Um, one of the kids is 13, so he's going to be an adult very soon. And I thought this would get his mind spinning and see what he, you know, what job opportunities are out there. That's sort of what Scott Waller, the president of the Mississippi Economic Council, was doing at the Toyota facility in Blue Springs as well. He got input from area economic and other leaders about what his organization can do to continue moving the state forward. Our MEC tour was something we do annually. It's an opportunity to get out into communities across the state and talk about issues that are taking place within the state from a statewide perspective, but this year's tour we're kind of focusing on our smaller communities. Waller says the data they collect will ultimately give the MEC the input to use on improving workforce development, training for schools, and giving young people a chance to thrive right here in Mississippi. Lady Applegate likes that idea for her kids too. My five-year-old, he loves He's, I, I feel he's going to be a future engineer someday. He just loves building things and, and taking apart things, and I think this is really something he would love. So it's kind of like the sooner you... Uh... All right, MEC President Waller says also that workforce development remains the number one issue facing the state in economic development right now. He also says that a college education is not necessarily the only way to be successful. Reporting live here in Tupelo, I'm Wayne Herford, WTVA 9 News.